Welcome to GitLens, the most popular Git extension on the VS Code marketplace, trusted by millions of developers worldwide. GitLens allows you to easily navigate your code bases and collaborate seamlessly within Visual Studio Code. All right, so some of the things we're gonna take a look at include installing GitLens, the user interface, GitLens basics, things like inline blame, hovers, code lens, file annotations. We'll also take a dive into the GitLens Pro features, tools like the commit graph, branches and committing, large pad, cloud patches, and work trees. Let's start by going to the extensions view in VS Code, searching for GitLens, and installing it for free. If you've already got GitLens installed, you can skip ahead. Once the installation is complete, open your project in VS Code, and you'll observe GitLens seamlessly integrate it into your coding environment. GitLens integrates deeply into Visual Studio Code, providing an array of features accessible right in your IDE. Together, let's explore some of the key elements that make up the GitLens user interface starting with the GitLens sidebar. You'll notice the GitLens icon in the left sidebar. Clicking the GitLens icon will open the GitLens home view, where you can access various features like the commit graph, visual file history, Git Kraken workspaces, cloud patches, and your Git Kraken account. From the GitLens welcome page, you can explore the full range of GitLens offerings, even sampling features in different states to gain a comprehensive understanding of the tool set. If you're feeling adventurous, head over to the command palette, command or control, shift P, and check out the settings and customize GitLens as you see fit. Now, if you see this little pro icon anywhere, this denotes a GitLens Pro feature. GitLens Pro features are available on local and public repos for use. A GitLens Pro account is only required when using these features on private repos. If you want to use GitLens Pro features for private repos, you can start a Pro trial free at any time. And don't forget, when you start a GitLens Pro trial, you get access to the entire Git Kraken DevX platform. That includes the Git Kraken browser extension, the Git Kraken CLI, and Git Kraken desktop. As you move around your project's code in the editor using GitLens, you'll notice blame annotations at the end of each line and on the status bar. These inline annotations give you historical info about the line changes. Hover over an annotation to get more details and actions. Now you can easily see changes, quick links to PRs, issues, and other important info. GitLens also provides interactive code lens actions, showing the latest commit and number of authors right at the top of each file and code block. Looking to gain deeper insights into the files you're working on, file annotations provide you with the capability to access on-demand comprehensive annotations for an entire file allowing you to gain insights into authorship, recent changes, and a heat map representation of the file's activity. Annotations are seamlessly rendered right in your editor. Now, if you're like me and you wanna further understand changes made to specific files, you can toggle revision history. This feature allows you to compare changes between different versions of the file. And you'll notice the default source control in the sidebar of Visual Studio Code is now enhanced with GitLens. Now you can see and interact with your local and remote branches, commits, stashes, work trees, and more. You'll also notice in your sidebar within VS Code is GitLens Inspect. Now, this powerful tool is like an x-ray inspector for your code. It offers contextual information about insights into your ongoing work and collaborations with your team. If we open up GitLens Inspect, you'll notice commit details. This lets you see rich details of a commit or stash. With line history, you can select a line or lines of code and jump through revision history of those selected lines directly from here. Instead of navigating to a version of the file separately, you can now use file history to explore the history right from your VS Code sidebar. Visual file history provides a top-down view of the history of a file so you can see the size of contributions made to the file over time and who authored those changes, making it easy to grasp the magnitude of changes, identify key contributors, pinpoint problematic periods, and collaborate more effectively in understanding and maintaining the code base. Search and compare gives you the ability to search for a specific commit, message, author, changed file, or even files, or even a specific code change. While compare allows you to visualize the differences between branches, tags, and specific commits, enabling you to assess the impact of merging changes before actually doing so. Personally, I particularly enjoy using this for reviewing and resolving PRs. The commit graph provides a rich visual representation of your entire project's commit history with a multitude of powerful filters that allow you to search by a specific commit, message, author, a changed file, or even a specific code change. In GitLens, there's multiple ways to access the commit graph. Easily access the commit graph by simply tapping on the graph icon in the bottom navigation bar. Or if you have the bottom panel open, just click 
the Get Lens tab. Another great way to open the graph is from the home sidebar. Head over to the home icon in the sidebar and click on the commit graph for a quick and direct entry. One of my favorites is the source control entry. Head to the source control panel, hover over commit, tap the open commit graph icon here. You can also right click on a branch in the source control to open the context menu. From here, you can select open and commit graph. You can tailor GitLens to suit your style. Move the sidebars and GitLens features around by a simple drag and drop within VS Code. And one of the fastest ways to open the commit graph, in my opinion, is the command palette. Command or control shift P and type in show commit graph. The GitLens top bar simplifies your commit graph experience with the repo switcher for managing multiple repositories, seeing repo statuses, essential actions like fetch, push, and pull, search, minimap, filters, and scroll markers. Plus, enjoy a quick toggle for a compact graph view. Navigate and switch between branches with ease using the commit graph. Double click on any branch name to check it out. You can also check out a branch by right clicking on it. You'll also have the ability to create a new branch. Right click on any existing branch in the graph to access the context menu and choose create branch. Once you name and create your branch, GitLens will check out the branch and you can jump right into coding. One more thing. The context menu provides many advanced options like merge and rebase. Crucial commit details are easy to explore inside the commit graph. When you click on a commit, the commit graph details panel on the right will show author details and what file was changed. From a selected commit, we can go even deeper into our changes. Click into any file listed in the commit graph details to view the changes to the diff, which is important to understand your repo's history. Utilize the Commit Graph's activity minimap feature to chronologically time travel through your project's history, effortlessly locate milestones, significant changes, and understand the evolution of your code base. In GitLens, a nice one-stop shop button is the Fetch action. Locate it in the Commit Graph. It'll appear as Fetch, Pull, or Push, depending on the state to retrieve the remote branches. Additionally, right-clicking on a commit in GitLens Commit Graph provides access to various options and actions related to that commit. These options may include viewing commit details, checking out the commit, comparing changes, and more. Launchpad is like your command center. From here, you can easily handle GitHub pull requests and issues all in one unified view. It helps you efficiently manage ongoing work, pending tasks, and reviews with ease. You can quickly spot priorities and stay focused by putting distractions on silent. This tool, accessible through the GitLens home sidebar, lets you effortlessly share code and changes with others. You can create a cloud patch from your work in progress commits or stash, and then share the link with your teammates. It's stored securely by Gitkraken, and anyone with the link and a Gitkraken account can view the code. Imagine being able to work on different branches of the repository at the same time. Work trees allow you to do just that by minimizing the hassle of context switching. You can create a new work tree, open it in a new VS Code window, and smoothly navigate between branches without affecting your ongoing work. If you decide to go for a pro trial or upgrade, you'll get a Gitkraken account. A pro account gives you access to the Gitkraken DevX plot, including GitLens, Gitkraken browser extension, the Gitkraken client, and the Gitkraken CLI. It's your gateway to a more streamlined and powerful coding experience. Congratulations, you just unlocked the awesome capabilities of GitLens, turning your editor into a Git powerhouse.